Okay, hi. So this is gonna be more of like a morning, uh, I was gonna say morning routine. Something that you could do in the morning in terms of movement and just like getting into your physical body. Okay, so when I went through my yoga teacher training, one of the things that they really emphasized was to speak from your own experience. <laughs> so uh, in the morning, things that I need to do would be to activate the parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic, <laughs> she's typically like good, she's typically there. Um, but that more like rest, digest, I need to be able to uh, assimilate and eliminate, you know what I mean? Like that's big. The digestion is really big for me in the morning getting a little bit of movement in, connecting with the breath, and then really getting like grounded. Otherwise it's like, I've got a lot of vata energy. Like it's just kind of like a never ending to-do list up here, right? It's like, and there's just a lot going on right now. And so I have to carve out time, even when that very overactive mind is like, girl, what are you doing? Like, we've got stuff to do. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. It can all wait so we can kind of get into more of a balanced, grounded state. Okay, so if you resonate with any of that, um, then I invite you to join me. Don't totally know where we're going, if I'm being completely honest. I'm gonna write down balance, because that came up. Uh, maybe some water blocks. You know, I'm also someone like, I have to kind of move quickly at first before I can really settle into a more like relaxed state. And sometimes that literally means just like running a lap or like running up and down the street like four times and then coming down, right? It's just something that's gonna like really elevate the heart rate and really get me like connected with the breath fast. And you kind of burn through some of that cortisol. So, that might come through, but first, <clears throat> how should we start first? Okay, so yeah, one of the first things that we can do is to just start like shaking the body, okay? So toes are pointed forward and just start kind of like bending the knees, how are the knees doing? And then it's just like a little bounce, okay? And you're letting the shoulders go, you're letting the arms go. And then just notice where the bracing patterns are. For me, it's his low abs. I gotta let him go. <laughs> we'll work on plank and half lift and they'll be engaged then. But for now, it's like, <sighs> like what? Going all the way down this like front center line of your body. Like what could be, uh... <laughs> what could just be softened a little bit, okay? The other thing is, um, is sound, okay? So sound is a big one. Hang on, I gotta write this down. Okay, so sound. So as we're here bouncing, uh, is there a little bit of sound that we can make? And it's totally okay if we're not there yet with the sound. Totally cool. I wear these headphones, or they're not even headphones, they're earplugs. So I can like kind of zone everything out, right? And just get like really in here. And maybe someday I won't need the earplugs, but for now they really help. So invitation. Uh, it's all in an effort to activate my body's ability to rest and digest, okay? Uh, and sound can help. So we will do a little bit of humming, okay? But for now, just kind of stay with this, this bouncing up and down. And then maybe making a little bit of sound if you want to try to get some air, like you're doing a jump rope. Watch how you land, okay? This is where we do want those low abs engaged. As we start to jump, and then once we come back down, 
Just like let it all go. Let it all go. Wanna do that again? Okay. So notice how you land. You wanna to try to land without any sound. So you're landing on the balls of your feet. Maybe the heels come down a little bit. Engaging through the low abs. Whatever you're gonna do with the shoulders. And then come down. And just let it all go. So softening, relaxing that kind of like progressive muscle relaxation, I think is what it's called. You might like it, you might really not, okay? It's like, it's not prescriptive. Every single body is anatomically unique, like on the whole freaking planet. Isn't that wild? So just respect what you need, respect what is feeling good and respect what is not feeling good. So you choose to take what feels the best and then whatever else you kind of let it go. Okay, let's start with some big shoulder rolls here. So I really like this teacher on YouTube. Her name is Sabrina Lynn. I think she's great. Um, and she speaks about kind of embodiment practices through the lens of the six modalities. Breath, movement, sound, visualization, energetic intention, and touch. <sighs> Breath, movement, sound, right? Visualization, <sighs> energetic intention, and touch. <laughs> So how do those six land with you, right? Like a couple of them like really resonate with me and a couple of them just like don't really right now. And that's okay. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get anchored. Let's practice like some grounding exercises. Okay. So we'll lift the toes, spread and lower back down. Lift the toes, spread, lower back down. Practicing this kind of short foot exercise that we do in our willpower and grace classes. Hopefully you can see my feet. Okay. And I'll put it up but we're like spreading and then gripping in and then the arches of the feet will start to lift. Okay, so we're working on kind of lengthening that arch in the foot without causing any pain to the feet. And then this is our chance if you want to close your eyes, this is where we could maybe head into some of that visualization and energetic intention, right? Which is to Maybe visualize roots coming out the bottoms of your feet and going all the way down into the earth. And just let yourself explore that visual without judgment. <laughs> just, we're just kind of seeing, we're just trying to get anchored and rooted. So trust your imagination, trust what wants to come through. It's not good, it's not bad, it's not right, it's not wrong. <sighs> Maybe getting creative and fancy with the roots, whatever you wanna do, right? But we have these roots coming out, they're going all the way down. We're still practicing this short foot exercise. <laughs> so the arches are still kind of lifting and you can lift and lower as many times as you need to, really spreading the toes wide. <sighs> and then bringing all of your awareness down to the soles of the feet, okay? So again, eyes can be open or closed. I have a hard time kind of with these visualizations, I think, because I just have a hard time trusting the process. So it's all right. We're just getting, we're just setting an intention. We're just setting an intention to what? Remain stable, remain anchored, remain present, remain focused, remain patient throughout our morning, throughout the day, knowing we can always come back to the feet. We can always come back to the breath. We can always come back to the present moment. And uh, you know, that in my opinion is way more difficult than being able to do warrior three, right? <laughs> it's taking it off the mat. 
So whatever sort of intention you want to set for yourself this morning, I just threw some options at you. And then whatever your body wants to be doing here, as we make our way kind of out of that rooted and grounded meditation, do you want to move a little bit? Do you want to sway from side to side? <sighs> Sun salutations. You ready? We're going to inhale. Sweep the arms up. Exhale. We cactus the arms open. Just a few shoulder rolls here. We kind of start to get into more of the heart space here, which <laughs> I know. I know I don't want to leave the headspace, you know. I'm like very nice and cozy up there and I spend a lot of time up there. Oh boy, so much time. So again, my teacher, Sabrina Lynn on YouTube, she talks about these wisdom centers kind of opening up in the heart and uh you know, working through what that feels like for you energetically, emotionally, physically. On the inhale, we'll sweep the arms up. Exhale, we're going to float down. As we float down, once you come down to about that half lift, can you bring the hands to the backs of the thighs and run your hands down the back of the legs. Hold here, standing forward fold, maybe rubbing the legs out a little bit coming back to your breath so this nice touch is gonna you know when that mind kind of gets woo -hoo, wound up right there's a lot that we can do and the self touch can be really helpful like if you find a weighted blanket helpful you might find the physical touch helpful. Let's meet in our half lift with the palms on the uh, shins or the thighs. We're just coming into half lift. Inhale here and exhale as we bow. Spread the toes wide. Come back to that short foot exercise. Really drop the head, crown of the head down to the floor. Okay, so just shake the head yes, shake the head no. Total respect for folks who do not enjoy being upside down. If that is you, come back up to mountain pose. You got to take what you need, okay? That goes for all of this with the physical sequencing. These are just options. We're just heading into invitations. Let's slowly start to roll up bone by bone. And then come back to those shoulder rolls. I personally love being upside down. So you'll see that kind of a lot in my classes. <laughs> Why I feel the need to apologize for that, I, I don't know. You don't have to come upside down and you can still stay here with me. You know what I mean? Okay, shoulder rolls up and back. Let's just do a few sun salutations. Let's just do some repetitive fucking movement. <laughs> Inhales, we come up. Exhale as we open up through heart center. Inhale as we reach. Exhale, float down, rub the legs down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale as we bow. Hands can come onto blocks or onto the mat. Right foot steps back. Left foot steps back, plank. Hold here, big breath in. Exhale, swivel the elbows back. Little bit of a micro bend in the elbows. We're trying to keep the hips in alignment with the shoulders. And then we start to breathe in plank. <laughs> yeah, because uh, this is when it, you know, it can get a little uncomfortable for sure. Um, but that doesn't mean we can't have some fun with it. So, you know, if you want to bring a little bit of bounce, 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 bounce back into your plank. Maybe you want to rock front and back, side to side. <sighs> Visualization, energetic intention here in plank. Maybe. Let's inhale, shift the heart forward, coming onto the tippy toes, on your knees or your toes. Slowly lower down, slowly, all the way down. Finding cobra or coming up to upward facing dog. Curl the toes under, lift the hips up. 
Adjust your feet, knee in downward facing dog. <sighs> so taking, you know, same with the sun salutation. Not crazy about those back bends. For me, in my low back. So I have to really watch those and sometimes just take them out entirely in a yoga class as a student. We're still holding here in downward facing dog. You can bring a little bounce to it if you'd like. Heels up. So learning how to be unapologetic about taking what you need in your yoga practice. So sometimes, you know, you could be in a group full of people and everyone is doing Cobra, but your body is like, yo, do not do this. <laughs> and the ego's gotta be like, all right, okay, we just, we just won't. Let's slowly come back to plank. How are we doing? So we're gonna head into a child's pose pretty soon. But we're really kind of working up to, to it. You know what I mean? So maybe we can think about dropping the heels off to the right, heels off to the left, staying holding in plank, nice and still. Keep the weight evenly distributed in both hands. Stay with the breath. Come back to center. Slowly bring the knees out wide, uncurl the tops of the toes. Sink back to child's pose. So child's pose, or bring it up, do some cat cows. So we kind of work on building up this heat, building up, you know, like holding plank for like two minutes and then working on like completely and totally relaxing here. And that could feel really good for you. If it does, great. Just like ease into the relaxation. If it's stirring up some stuff, then I recommend coming into maybe some cat cows, moving the hips from side to side and just coming back into the body, maybe moving the parts of the body where you are feeling um, maybe some of the tightness, the tension, the strain. Again, it's just all invitation. Let's be back and down dog. Maybe coming back to the bounces. Coming back to the breath and then tippy toeing your way back to standing forward fold. Let's bend the knees, spread the toes wide and then slowly roll up to standing. So one of my biggest fears about teaching is that I'm going to do something or say something that's going to like really hurt someone. Um, like it's big, it's a big fear. Please know that that is never my intention and I'm not claiming to be anyone other than I'm not. Just wanna be clear, I'm not claiming to do anything. Okay, just offering some stuff. Maybe coming back to the shoulder rolls. And then you know where we gotta go next, right? All the way down to the feet. <laughs> Lift the toes up wide, spread them out wide. A mirror can be really helpful with this as you take a look at yourself, All right? Flow, inhale, exhale, open. Inhale, reach, exhale, float down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, bow, right foot steps back, left foot steps back, plank, big breath in, 
Exhale out. Inhale, shift the heart forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra, up dog. Toe scroll under, exhale, down dog. Pedal. Stay anchored. Inhale, right leg reaches up. Toes point down, hold here. Roll that right ankle a few times to the right, a few times to the left. Bend the knee, open up to the side. Try to keep the weight evenly distributed in both hands here. Big breath in. On the exhale, draw that right foot forward. Try to land without any sound. Toe heel it in just a little bit. Nice time for a block. Left hand stays down. We come forward, little twist to the right, maybe reaching that right arm up. Windmill the shoulder, perhaps. Come back to center. Good time for another block. Back foot comes down. Low lunge, maybe grab a blanket for that knee. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, we open. Inhale, we sweep. Exhale, come down. Toe, heel that right foot out to lizard. Knee over ankle. And then toe, heel that right foot out and just open and close that right hip. Open and close that right hip. Mm -hmm. There's some fear there, for sure. And uh, there's only one way I can really work through it, and that's doing shit like this. So <laughs> keep that right hip open. Maybe lift that back foot up. Flexing the toes, maybe twisting to the right, maybe reaching back, holding on to that left foot. Come back to center, toe heel that right foot in. Ardha Hanumanasana, half splits. Try to keep the hips like in alignment if you can. Flexing that right foot up, feeling the stretch in the calf. Bring that foot down, lift the back, knee up, step forward, standing forward, fold, half lift first, inhale, exhale, standing forward, fold, drop the head, root down, slowly come on up. Once we get to the top, inhale, sweep, exhale, open, inhale, sweep, exhale, hands behind your legs, melting all the way down, inhale, half lift, exhale, bow, left foot steps back. Right foot steps back, plank. Inhale first, shift the heart forward. Exhale, slow lower down. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, draw the hips up. I had to do a lot of incorrect uh, cobras at the start of my yoga journey to realize that that one just is not for me right now. So, as we move through this, what just is, you know, like I get injured every time I try to overdo it and we don't want to do that, but we got to be aware of when <laughs> we're kind of unconsciously doing that, right? When you're ready, left leg is going to sweep up, inhale, exhale, open up the hip here, inhale first. Exhale, left foot comes all the way to the front. Back knee drops, uncurl the back toes. Inhale, sweep up, low lunge. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reach. Exhale, come down. Toe heel that left foot out to the side. Lizard. Open and close that left hip. Coming on to the pinky edge. Maybe you need to toe heel that left foot out a little bit. Whew. <sighs> Maybe lifting that right foot up, letting that left hip open. 
twisting to the left. Left arm reaches back. You're not directly on that right kneecap, and then you're really pressing down through the whole of that right hand, not directly on the knee joint, okay? And if you're experiencing injury in your yoga classes, you gotta tell your teacher. You gotta tell them, okay? <laughs> Slowly bring that right foot down, toe heel that left foot in, half splits. Working through it a little bit maybe, coming forward and then coming back. Ultimately holding back, hips level, left foot flexed. Can you feel that in your calf? Whoa. <laughs> Bring that left foot down. Back knee lifts. Come back to the front, standing forward fold. Root down, spread the toes wide, rise up, back to standing. Inhale, reach up, exhale, open. <laughs> Inhale, reach, exhale, float. Half lift, inhale. <sighs> nice deep exhale, standing forward fold, maybe rocking from side to side. Maybe taking one elbow in each hand, pressing the top of the skull. the forearms. Gently lowering the hands back down when you're ready. We're gonna come into our half lift first. Let's hold here in the half lift. Make sure that all four corners of the feet <laughs> are pressing down. We're drawing that navel in toward the spine. The shoulder blades are in back. But I really want you to think about those muscles that you use when you cough. So this is where we are coming back to really engaging those low abs once again, right, from the beginning. And then on your exhale, we completely release the spine back to standing forward fold. Let's bring the hands down. Step the right foot back. Left foot back plank. Inhale first. Exhale, slowly lower the knees down. Let's take some fluid cat cows, okay? So inhale. Shift the heart forward, knees are wide. Exhale, big circle around to cat. Inhale as you come forward and then exhale as you round all the way back. So, how does this want to be expressed in your body? Mm -hmm. Maybe switching sides. And where do you feel this in your body? Maybe making your way through cat cows front and back. Moving through the rounding of the spine. Like a little wave coming up, right? Back to that visualization, energetic intention. It's as if the inhale is coming up the spine all the way to the crown of the head. Exhale, we tuck the chin to the chest, we round all the way back. Inhale, heart comes forward, exhale. Ball of light going up the spine, inhale, exhale, ball of light, crown to head, base of tailbone. Take it or leave it.
Coming back to tabletop when you're ready. Swinging the feet off to the side. Bringing the uh, butt down. <laughs> All right, maybe grab a couple of blocks. I think winding it down is good. I don't know how long we've been going. Inhale, we sweep the arms out. Exhale, we come all the way down. But willpower and grace has been fun, right? Oh yeah. Energetic intention, it's just really, really fast. Okay. Whew. Windshield wiper, maybe a little bit, knee is side to side. So coming back to that morning intention, right? Like, we're just doing our best, we're being patient with ourselves, practicing patience and kindness and acceptance with ourselves, right? Like the physical, the mental, the emotional, the spiritual, the intellectual, just like all parts. Everybody's welcome. <laughs> Just practicing compassion and patience with ourselves. All right, let's extend that left leg out, flexing that left foot, draw the right knee in, interlacing the fingers, putting them on the shin, pointing and flexing that right foot a few times and then rolling the right ankle to the right and to the left. Yes, yes. Okay, good one for digestion here. Let's focus. Inhale, we draw that right knee away from you. Exhale, we draw the right knee in, kind of toward the shoulder, maybe toward the chest. We're, we're using the quad to massage the abdomen, softening the whole, uh, the like all of those muscles in there and all of those organs in your digestive system. Right. As you inhale, that right knee draws away. As you exhale, you bring it in and you soften. Okay, so inhale. You can also hold on to your hamstring. Exhale. <laughs> Let's switch sides. Right leg extends out nice and long, right foot flexes. You can hold on to your hamstring or your shin. Inhale, drawing that left knee away from you. Exhale as you bring it in, left knee to the left shoulder. Maybe massaging a little bit here, but the key is so like melting and softening the abdomen as you massage. All right when I was dealing with a lot of gnarly digestive issues and you can just move through that back and forth, inhaling and exhaling. I would do this, but I would be so frantic. I would be so, um, so up in my head that I was just kind of doing the movements, but I really wasn't even feeling it because I was so kind of shut off from that part of my body. Just Sharon, just Sharon, just Sharon. Left knee stays in. We're gonna draw that right knee in. <laughs> Fun anecdote, but you feel what is true for you and your body and that's the beautiful thing about yoga. We get to feel into all parts of self. We get to feel into all parts of our bodies that we might have been like really disconnected from for a while at our own pace, at our own rhythm, at our own time. Nobody's trying to rush you through anything. Okay, legs up the wall. Flexing the feet. You can come up against the wall. Should I do that? Should I treat myself to that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. The wall can be as much of a support as our friends, the blocks. Ooh. 
because you don't have to go through it alone. So holding your legs up the wall, just allowing the heart rate to come down. Where can we soften? Where can we soften? Where can we soften? And then let's just bring the awareness to the head, okay? Visualization, energetic intention, touch, <laughs> maybe tapping the head. <sighs> tapping, you know. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to tap the mic. If you want to tap over your, your body, if you need something to kind of do, I totally get it. So just take what you need. Bringing the awareness to the head, to the mind, and just sending some love up to that wisdom center. <laughs> to the brain, left side of the brain, right side of the brain. And then can we soften the eyes, soften the eyebrows, soften the expression in between the eyes, and then really softening through the temples. So how are those eyes doing? I have noticed an increase in my screen time leads to an increase in kind of twitchy eyes and fluttery eyes. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm trying to be patient with myself through that whole process of that. But for now, we're just softening through the eyes, doing our best, witnessing whatever might be there. Softening through the nostrils, as well as the jaw. Softening through the neck and the shoulders, and then coming out to the arms and just letting them hang heavy. bringing as much conscious awareness as you can to the palms of your hands. As much conscious awareness as you can to the palms of your hands, maybe the whole, the entire inner part of your hand, each hand. And then bringing the hands back to the heart, one hand to the heart, one hand to the torso. Love, empathy, presence, kindness for the self here, right in the heart. You can do it. You deserve to do it. You know how to do it. You do. So just trust that you are capable, even when it sometimes may not feel like it, but just trust that that's something that you are capable of. Other hand to the navel. <sighs> Breathing in and out. Softening through the whole of the torso. Softening through the whole of the pelvic floor. And then softening the quads, the calves, the ankles and the feet. <laughs> and then just letting what wants to happen, happen. Okay, so I want to come into a hip opener right now. I don't know why, I'm just, that's just exactly what my body wanted to do. So now that we're nice and kind of like relaxed here and legs up the wall, 
I invite you to take whatever final resting pose is going to feel the most restorative for you. So maybe that's staying there. Maybe that's coming down in the fetal position. Maybe that's making your way in Shavasana of some kind. But then once you get there, come back to the eyes. Soften the eyes. Come back to the jaw. Soften the jaw. And then from here, I invite you to just count five deep, full breaths. Just five. But stay with the counting. Okay. Making your way out of that final posture. Let's all meet in the fetal position. Just acknowledging yourself here in the fetal position softening, remembering your intentions that you might have set at the beginning for your day, just noticing how you feel now physically, emotionally, energetically, and just know that this place is always within us, no matter how busy, crazy the days get, no matter how much we've got on the to-do list, like, it's always, it is so close to you even when it feels kind of far away. It's like so close. <laughs> All right, let's press ourselves up. <clears throat> Beautiful fucking work. We should do it again. Um, I hope you have a great day and thanks for practicing with me. Mm.